operational definitions for M&Ms. Let's see if we can make up an operational definition that can help us to evaluate some M&Ms. So let's take a look and see what M&Ms look like. Well, here they are. We have plain M&Ms, peanut M&Ms, there's all different colors and shapes, and what we ought to do is take a look at putting together an operational definition. Well, an operational definition that we could have, we can look at characteristics, color, logo, shape, cracks and chips. The requirement, we want to have a uniform color. It should be legible with a complete letter. The shape should be uniform, not odd. Follows the shape of the peanut and no cracks or chips. From a stratification factor standpoint, does it make a difference if it's brown or orange or green or yellow? Or does it make a difference if it's a peanut or if it's a plain M&M? These stratification factors may have an influence on where we see these particular defects, or they may not. So that's our operational definition, and we're going to use this to fill out a two-factor attribute check sheet. Here we have our two-factor attribute check sheet. We'll begin by evaluating the M&Ms and recording the data on our check sheet. Over here for the sources, we're going to record every time we have a brown one or a plain or a peanut so we can get a tally of all total that we looked at. And then in the body of our two-factor check sheet, we have our color, M&M stamp, shape, and cracks. Those are our critical to quality characteristics. And then our sources are the stratification factors, such as the color of brown, green, red, yellow, plain, or peanut. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at this one. Well. I think we got a problem here. It's really kind of coming apart. It has a crack and a chip. So that's a peanut and it's a brown one and it's definitely got a crack and chip. All right. Now let's take another look at one. Let's see. We have a <coughs> orange one, excuse me. And it has a problem with its M stamp. Now from a taste standpoint, this probably doesn't make any difference at all, but from a visual characteristic standpoint, we had a plain one with an M stamp and an orange one with an M stamp. Now we're going to separate this out from the standpoint of the stratification factors. We just need to record them completely in our sheet, and then when we put this into Minitab, we'll do some further analysis on it to get a feel for did the stratification factors make a difference and then where do we see the most issues on our peanuts when we look at them, on our M&Ms, when we look at them from the standpoint of their visual quality. And that's all based upon our operational definition that we put together that talked about here's the characteristics that we consider to be important, here's the requirement that we have, if they don't meet this requirement that's a defect, and then we have stratification factors which may have an influence or may not, we won't know until we get all the data. So we're going to continue on with this pile of M&Ms, both plain and peanut. We're going to try not to eat any of them until we're all done. We'll fill out this check sheet and we'll get back to you with all of the numbers very soon.